Yeah, welcome back. As promised in the last video, I'm heading out to try and get this uh, this shot. And uh, in the process, I'm uh, I'm kind of thinking about uh, where we're going with the channel. People have told me, as I mentioned in the last video, you got to find your niche. And I am in the process of trying to put together a sort of uh, makeshift haggard sort of uh, documentary film about this place. But uh, that's not really the niche that I'm trying to, to, to capture, I guess, with, uh, with what the channel is doing. What would you even say this is? What I'm really trying to do is just learn. Learn how to do, well, video. I feel like I've come a long way since the very beginning. You know, it's been a few years and I've learned a lot about uh, cameras and editing and everything. You know, I can remember back then, I, you know, like, oh, the phone, it can do uh, 60 frames per second at uh, 4K or whatever. So I guess I should use the highest possible on all of it to get the best image, which, uh, yeah, not, uh, not exactly correct thinking. But uh, since then, yeah, I've learned a whole lot. I've learned about how to edit and do some color stuff. But every time I learn something, I, uh, I realize that they, I have a lot to learn. Like in the last video, we were, we were filming in the log stuff. We were slogging it up. That, that's for S-Log, Sony Log. If you have a, a so I, I guess a, a Canon camera, you're gonna get uh, flogged, I think it is. What do they call it? Is it C-Log or is that flog? Something like that. You don't wanna get flogged. But uh, you know, I'm following the trends on uh, the internet where it's saying like, this is what you, if you wanna have the best images, then you gotta use log footage. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think anybody ever said it was gonna be the best looking image. But uh, for some reason, that's the trend. I guess it's supposed to capture the most dynamic range, which um, will result, I guess, in getting every detail and every shadow and everywhere in the world uh, well, anyway, I tried to use the F or the F log, C log, or F, not C log, S log. I have a Sony camera. I tried to use the S log, and you know I've used it before, and you can do a lot with that footage. But as soon as I tried to mess with the colors and stuff, for some reason it started falling apart. You probably noticed in the last video; it just looked terrible. That wasn't because of YouTube. I don't know if it. Uh, I don't get it. It looked great when I was actually editing the footage. I don't know what happened when I rendered it to make it look so terrible, but um, I, I suspect it has something to do with something I don't know about yet. So I have to figure that out. I'm not using uh, the S-Log right now. I'm using just, uh, nope, I'm not using any picture profile. It's just straight out of the camera. Of course, I'm, I'm not gonna just use the footage straight out of the camera, as good as it might look. I'm, uh, I'm gonna mess with it a bit, but um, yeah, it looks better, I think, this way than it did when I was using S-Log. And that's, um, like I said, it's not because you're not supposed to use S-Log, it's just that there's something missing that I don't know about. When I try to do some styling with it, it just uh, falls apart. Of course, with that old uh, Sony A6500 that was using 8-bit color, they really, really fell apart on that one. I don't know what to do about that. It just, uh, it has some serious limitations. It's a crop filter too. I, I used it because I thought, well, <laughs> when this one crops in, you lose some of the resolution, you know, if you're using a crop uh, lens, which I have some because I had a crop sensor. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it fell apart. I, I can't do that anymore. I'm gonna have to stick as much as I can with this camera and uh, see what we can do. But yeah, I think that's really, if there is such a thing as a niche as that, I'm just trying to figure this all out. Figure out how to use these cameras to get the best possible images. And uh, again, I have no idea exactly what I'm doing, so we'll see where it goes. Should be interesting anyway. But yeah, we're, we're on our way to this, uh, this place to get a great shot. You know, this area is so full of beautiful things. It's, uh, I noticed blossoms on some of the trees today. It's, uh, yeah, spring has definitely sprung and I probably should have waited to do this documentary video thing that I'm doing 
because it'll look prettier if I do, but I just want to get it done. I want to see if I can do it, and I don't want to delay. So, yeah, we're going with the barren trees. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long, because if it does, then, well, it, the, it's going to look pretty strange that in some of the shots there's leaves on the trees and some there's not. Well, we'll see what happens with it. We'll see what happens with it. I'm going to have as much fun with it as I can anyway. Yeah, change of plans. I was going to go a lot further, but then I saw this bridge and saw this uh, view with the town of the buildings reflecting in the river and thought, hell, maybe this ought to be a good test right here. It's a nice shot, too. Kind of does the job of what I'm trying to accomplish. So, yeah. Found a place to park and came out here. Really pretty here, I have to say. I mean, it doesn't even matter what time of year. Just imagine this place if it was, uh, show you guys, you can't really see it. Just imagine in the autumn or when the trees are green or even when there's snow. I mean, what, even right now when there's not leaves. Pretty place. Let's see how this does. I'm curious, you know, like I said, the last one, we were in S-Log. This time I'm, I'm not doing that. We'll have to see, You'll have to, is it better? Is it not better? Let's find out. Well, there it is. I had to walk out uh, most of the way across the bridge to get to this shot, but, uh, well, I mean, I've done more for a shot than that in the past. But what do you think? Is it better than the last one? Does it look better without the S-Log stuff? I'm sure that there's a proper way to use S-Log that actually looks better that I just don't know. I'm gonna find out. Or maybe, you know, that's just the nature of how it appears or how it looks. I don't know, I haven't seen this yet to know if it's better. But something tells me it's gonna look better. Yeah, it looks better. But does it look good? I mean... Uh, welcome back to my, my living room, by the way. If you're wondering where I was filming this, it was in Montgomery, West Virginia. Population 1,300. Well, not quite. It's about 20 people shy of that, but um, yeah, beautiful place. I don't know. I feel like uh, maybe I was sabotaged by that uh, ND filter, the cheap ND filter that I've got on there. I, I, I'm torn because there's so many people that say, you know, like, oh, they'll have what's supposed to be like a cinematic look. And it's like, well, you know, the clouds are kind of not clear. Or there's details that aren't clear. Sure, everything is crystal clear up close, but it's kind of like got a mist to it. Uh, some people like that. But I, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like, I've seen movies and, you know, everything is perfectly clear and crisp and beautiful to see. And I, I don't feel like that's not cinematic. So I don't know. It, it, I guess you could say it looks cinematic if you were considering like eight millimeter home video footage to be like a cinematic sort of appearance. Sure, it has its aesthetic appeal, but um, I, I don't know. I feel like it might have been better without that filter. I, again, I, I probably sabotaged by the uh, the cheap equipment. You get a nice camera and put like some <laughs> the ND filter that came for free or something on there, and expect something great. Ah, ah. I, I, it has its it has its place though because you know if you don't uh, have the filter on there and you're in bright sunlight then you're going to have the wrong shutter speed and everything is going to look kind of wonky and I can't have that so maybe I'll be going back when the rain has finally stopped it's been it's been raining since getting back now nonstop I, I doesn't look like it's going to let up for a few days. But um, eventually I'll, I'll go back to that spot and try it again, this time without the filter. Or, uh, you know what, I think I have another ND filter that's not quite as strong. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, maybe I'll try both, without the filter, with the filter, and see if we can get it to work. Eventually I'm gonna get this to work. And I'm gonna have uh, beautiful footage. I'm gonna figure this A7 IV out and I'm gonna have something amazing. But uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't know, was it better? Am I wrong? Uh, maybe the other one was better that uh, I used with the S-Log stuff. Who knows? I guess you know. I, I should know, but I, you know, I keep second guessing myself. Like, is, 
is it really better? I know some of the shots were terrible with the S-Log because it just fell apart, but the, uh, the panning shot of the city in that other video, was that better than what I got of the, the river with the, the town and the mountains and stuff? Uh, you know, I'm, who knows? You, you, you have an opinion. I'm sure you have an opinion on that, um, which I would appreciate. Just don't, don't be too harsh. Well, you, you can be as harsh as you want. I've got thick enough skin. Anyway, I guess that's another step in the process. I'll see you guys in the next one.